After the break, with the holidays coming up, we've got the best present you could give. So every day when you walk past that picture is going to be awesome. Turn your family photos into a work of art. That is straight ahead after this short break. So you can see that. Do you still print out your photographs at home? No. No. Oh, no it's all on Facebook now. Right, right, exactly. But if you do, apparently that is so instamatic. I guess so. <laughs> and there are all kinds of digital tools out there to turn those memorable pictures into special treasures. Dave Malkoff talked to the experts in a high tech print shop. The time of that old style photo album is over. Most photos are digital these days, more likely to be stored on the iPad than hanging on the wall. Here you can see the ink cartridges that are going to be used. Bubbling like a Technicolor soda fountain here at Primary Color in Orange County, we found the next generation of photo printers that can turn your digital files into works of art. Shutterfly, Mixbooks, iPhoto all use these types of printers to make custom photo books. Upload and design it from your laptop and it comes in the mail for about 15 or 20 dollars. But this book could be of your vacation photos of a special trip or for a person's birthday or an anniversary. Canvas Pop, PrinterCanvas.com and Canvas On Demand are among the ways that you can print your photo on canvas starting for around 50 bucks. So this canvas is exactly like what an artist would paint on. But it came from your digital camera. And then we prepare a wooden frame to the size. For about the same price, there's another option. It's the same process as that one, same ink, same everything. It's what most people call foam core. Actually, this one is a brand name called Gatorboard. Um, as you can see, it's very flat, very rigid, but also very lightweight. So light, you can hang it above your bed. Can't do that in earthquake country with a glass-mounted photo. So every day when you walk past that picture is going to be awesome. Digital photos on display in the real world. Of course, we have links to everything right now at ktla.com slash Dave. In Costa Mesa, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. All right, I've been talking with Dave on Twitter the mm -hmm. last couple nights about what we're about to show you, and it, we kept having to move it because right. of time. Mm -hmm. But we want to take a second to welcome the newest member to the KTLA family. That's right, take a look, and then maybe you can use one of those print shops for this yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah. Her name is Verona Dax Malkoff, the cute baby girl of our reporter, <laughs> Dave. How cute is she? Dave Malkoff and his wife, Natalie. Verona Dax arrived Saturday night just before 9 o'clock. We were waiting for her for like a week over, right? Right. Uh, at the UCLA Medical Center. She weighed 7 pounds, 2 ounces, and we just want to say congrats. Congratulations, guys. Sweet. Congratulations. We got it on. Mm -hmm. On the website as well. Okay. Coming up next, some.